Hi, in this video we will try to understand how to verify reciprocity theorem practically by conducting an experiment in the laboratory. Let us see that. For the verification of reciprocity theorem, this is the circuit uh, which we are actually using. Now let us see the statement of a reciprocity theorem. In a linear bidirectional single source network, the ratio of response to excitation remains same when the positions of response and excitation are interchanged. It simply states that even though we interchange the positions of excitation and response, the ratio of excitation to the response remains same in a single source network. Now considering the given circuit uh, once again, we can observe that the excitation here in this circuit uh, is nothing but uh, 8 volts uh, voltage source and the response can be anything, uh, either the voltage across uh, various uh, resistors or the current flowing through the resistor, it can be anything. But here in this problem, we are considering the current flowing through 470 ohms as the response. So the excitation is 8 volts and the response is a current through 470 ohms. In the first step of the experiment, without changing the positions of excitation and response, we will find the ratio of excitation and response. After that, we will interchange the positions of excitation and response. Again, we will find the ratio. If we interchange the positions of excitation and response, you can observe how the circuit looks like. The 8 volt source is connected in series to 470 ohms and the current must be measured through the 1 kilo ohm. In both the cases, we must get the same value of current, then we can say that the reciprocity theorem is verified. This is how various resistors are connected. This is 1 kilo ohm, 400 ohm and 470 ohms. These are the three resistors. Now I am setting a voltage of 8 volts by using the knob provided on the trainer kit and the multimeter. After setting the voltage of 8 volts, we need to connect this voltage to the circuit. So I have connected to the circuit. Now I am trying to measure the current flowing through 470. This is when the excitation and response are not interchanged. And I got the current as 1.31 milliamperes. After measuring the current, you need to keep the resistor at its original position. In the second step, I need to interchange the positions of excitation and response. So the voltage source is connected in series to the 470 and the current is measured through 1 kilo ohm resistance. If you observe, in the second step, we got the same value of current. So we can say that the reciprocity theorem is verified.